In this video I want to show you my custom jaws setup and explain how it works. It's actually quite more simple than it might look. All we need are input boolean, input datetimes and two automations. If you are interested in the full code, you can find a link in the description. If you are using the setup with my dashboard, please make sure you have button card and bubble card installed. Let's begin. Here you can see my setup in action on my dashboard. As you can see, I have a lot of things I should rather do than recording a YouTube video. However, I actually did take down the dry laundry, so we can check this one off. I will first explain how the setup works and then show off how I created this bubble pop-up. Here's an example of the configuration. For every chore, I have two helpers. One input boolean and one daytime helper. I always name them the exact same, so later it is easier to know which one belongs together. I also add chores to the beginning of all of them. This is what we will use to build the dashboard with auto entities, so it's very important. To make everything work, we only need two automations. This is the first automation. It uses a template to determine how much time is between now and the daytime helper, and triggers if it's over a certain threshold. In this case, the threshold is 14,040 hours, which is roughly two months. When the automation triggers, the corresponding input boolean gets turned on. The second automation triggers when we turn off the input boolean. Basically what happens is that we just save the time the input boolean gets turned off in the daytime helper. And that's all you need to make the chore setup work. Let's quickly look at the dashboard and see how it's done. I'm using auto entities card to automatically build it. For the filter we actually use a template filter in which we look at all input booleans. We then check if the entity ID contains chores. This is why that is so important for the configuration. Lastly, we only want the ones that are on. For each entity we find, we then define the card we are using. In my dashboard, I'm using the switch label template. And for the label, I just define open. If anyone has a better idea on how to label and open to do, let me know in the comments. For the completed card, we can just copy this whole code and change the state equals on to equals off, like this. And that's how my custom chore setup works. I hope you enjoyed the video and got some inspiration for your own dashboard. As I said, if you are interested in the full code, you can find a link in the description. If you enjoyed the video, I would really appreciate it if you liked the video and subscribed to my channel. Check out my other videos in which I create more custom cards, show off cool hugs cards and a tour of my personal dashboard. Thanks for watching. Thank you.